morning. This is going to be a rant video. Hey y'all, I feel like I'm giving a false impression on my channel of what life as a teen mom is like. And that's exactly what I was trying to avoid doing in the first place because I feel like there's no channels out there that actually show you the reality of being a teen mom. They just show you the good stuff because nobody wants to see the bad stuff. I see teens on Instagram and YouTube trying to conceive, but like, do you really know what you're getting yourself into? Most likely, no. All the TV shows and YouTube channels and movies show the good sides of being a mom. They show their baby all happy with gummy smiles and little cute laughs, but it's only like that about 50% of the time. They never show the screaming, crying baby, and you know how often that happens? The other 50% of the time. And sometimes you've tried everything and you just don't know what they're crying about, and you end up crying with them, and that is reality. You want more reality? Your baby needs you. Say goodbye to your long hot showers all by yourself in the mornings. No, you're going to have your baby in the bathroom with you, probably in an extra saucer or a bouncy seat, and sometimes they're going to cry the entire time you shower. That happened the other day with Kate. Sometimes you can get in the shower while they're napping, but I promise you that is going to be the quickest shower of your life. Then say goodbye to your calm evenings, just relaxing, watching Netflix eating dinner, getting ready for bed, staying up as late as you want, waking up as late as you want, doing whatever you want. No more of that. No more painting your nails all fancy and getting to actually let them dry. No more doing your hair and your makeup. You gotta usually pick one, whichever you want, do it real fast and hope it looks good. Hence why my face is usually the only thing done and my hair is about 99% of the time and above. I honestly don't remember what I did during the day and in the evenings like before I had Caden like that feels like forever ago. Now I have Caden attached to me all the time. When he's not literally in my arms, he's on the floor playing like he is right now. Caden, okay. are you playing? <laughs> and I have to be right next to him or where I can see him so I can make sure he's not grabbing something that he could choke on or getting mad because he can't grab his toys or like you have to be there with your baby all the time, making sure that they're okay, watching out for them, helping them with things they need help with because they're not grown up people yet. They can't crawl and grab their toy when they're first born. They can't talk to tell you what they need. They scream. Now don't get me wrong, I love Kaden so much, but most people would be more comfortable having a baby if they had their own home, if they had their own steady financial income. Because all the money I made before having Caden is gone now. I literally have no money in my bank account. And I can't work a full-time job like I did before because every single penny of my minimum wage job and then some would be going towards the childcare that Caden would need while I was working. And that is why when we aren't in school, my boyfriend is working and I stay home with Kaden. Even school is hard with a baby. It is so hard to find someone to watch Kaden during the three hours, two times a week that I have actual class. And then my online classes, forget it. I have to work on those while he's napping and hope I get them done in time if I'm in the middle of the test or after he's gone to bed. And then I can't get to bed on time because I'm usually working on homework. Okay. Okay, so he has a lollipop. <laughs> That's so cute. Now, I'm not trying to throw all those negatives out there and say that I hate having a baby and nobody should ever have babies. No. I'm telling you that that is the reality of having a baby as a teen. Now do you think you're ready? I would never, ever, ever go back and change having Caden because he's the best thing that's ever happened to me and I love him more than anything. I love you so much. I would never go back, never, ever go back and change having Kate. I love him more than anything in the entire world. But I don't encourage anyone, nobody, nobody, to plan to have a baby as a teen. Because being a teen mom is hard. Wait until, my goodness, you got lots to say. Wait till you're in your 20s. Wait till you're done with school and married and have the job you want. And you have an income and you have a house. Then think about having kids and have as many kids as you want. But I just encourage you to wait. One day you'll be in a situation where you can have a baby and you can provide everything you need. You can pay the medical bills to have your baby. You can send him to a great school when he gets older and be there for him and get him everything he needs. But 
that time comes later, not as a teen. I didn't make this video to call out teen parents because obviously I am a teen parent and I 100% support teen parents who chose to keep their unplanned baby. I made it to show that there is so much that's not out there about being a young parent. Everybody wants to show their cute, happy baby and turns the camera off when they start crying. Because nobody wants to show the negatives. Nobody wants to see the negatives. But there are negatives, and I want to make sure that those are out there too. I want to encourage teens to wait until they're older to start trying for a baby. Even if you're in the greatest situation possible, now most likely is not the time. You're not done with school. You most likely don't have a job that can provide whoa, enough income for you and your baby. Sometimes unplanned pregnancies do happen and it's possible. I'm not encouraging anyone to try for a baby as a teen. That's not what my channel is for. I'm not trying to show you that my life is perfect because my life is far from perfect. But this is what my life is and this is how I'm making the best of what I've been given. It is possible to choose to keep your baby and to give him or her life and to raise him. It is gonna be so hard. It'll be the hardest thing you've ever done. And there are negatives and your life is gonna change completely. Because when you become a mom, it's not just your life anymore. You have to tend to this thing first. And this guy has so much energy today, like, I don't know what that's about. He woke up literally at 6 o'clock this morning and has been just going ever since. He took one nap and he's just going. You've been up for a long time. Thank you guys for watching. I know that's not my usual kind of video. And I hope that wasn't just a huge, huge crazy rant. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Because I love to welcome you guys into my little YouTube family. And yeah. Say thanks for watching. Thank you.